Trying a 15 meter kappa. Some may say slightly overpowered. Let's see what this baby's got. As you can probably tell, I was enjoying myself. That was a great session. I was riding the 15 meter Kappa on the foil bar and the Jaime Tech Stream. Uh, I, I go for the, the 142 Jaime, so it's a larger board than most people go for normally. And the reason is um, you have a little bit more platform to come down for landings, so if you don't have quite enough power in the kite, you can still take those landings and ride away. And also, and I just find it nice all around. So I always go for the the larger boards. Um, one three eight is about the smallest to go for. Up to one four two now is kind of my standard board. The main difference today was the Kappa. I've got the Rebels and they are fantastic. Um, but that Kappa now, if you want to go as high as you can and stay there for as long as possible so that the hang time is the main difference you get with a foil kite compared to an LEI. The LEI might spring you as high um, or maybe a little bit higher. Uh, you'll get that more explosive pull um, but generally you don't stay up there as long whereas the, uh, the foil kite you need to be a bit more advanced to use it correctly. Um, so definitely not a beginner kite but a kite for someone who's been out for a long time um, getting to a stage where you're jumping a long way but now you want to just have that, that extended hang time and the Kappa is brilliant. And interesting, I, I got the Kappa as a light wind foil kite. I thought that would be the place for it. And it is amazing. So I can go out in maybe 
three miles an hour of wind, four miles an hour of wind, when there's you can barely feel the wind, and I can be hydrofoiling on my 1500 uh, cubic centimeter wing with the, the even the small pasteboard, but I think I'd go for the large pasteboard if it's super duper light, uh, just so it's a little bit easier to get started. And that 15 meter capper, and then I'm hydrofoiling in barely any wind, and then going up to sort of 18 miles an hour and beyond sometimes. Um, so the kappa is an incredible range, um, right from the lowest wind hydrofoil all the way up to sort of a, a good moderate wind for freestyling too. So uh, yeah, I'm really pleased I got the kappa 15 meter, and uh, if you can try one out, it's great. And speaking of that 1500 wing, um, I've got a new hydrofoil video coming out soon. So that is on the yeah, 1500 wing and the small pasteboard with a new uh, quick, so it's called the quick flight system from Noir Matter, and that is a, a a way that you can just click your hydrofoil together and break it apart very quickly. So I'm going to give an overview of that on the next video. Uh, yeah, so look out for that one. Get subscribed, comment, share, do everything else you need to do, <laughs> and have fun. I hope you enjoy yourself, guys. As uh, yeah, we're allowed to be out now, and the weather is stonking. Um, I hope you're able to get some sessions and, uh, yeah, enjoy life.